Are you tired of feeling down because of negative thoughts and emotions? Do you even struggle to bounce back from setbacks and challenges? If that is the case, friend, you're not alone. Many of us struggle with negative thoughts and a lack of resilience at some point in our lives. The good news is that it is possible to overcome those negative thoughts and build resilience. There are practical strategies that you can use to improve your mental well-being and become more resilient in life. However, before we dive into specific strategies, it's important to understand the nature of these concepts. Negative thoughts are thoughts that are negative in nature, such as thoughts of self-doubt, fear, or even worry. These thoughts can have a negative impact on our mental well-being and our ability to cope with challenges. They are natural and they are a normal part of the human experience. However, when they become persistent and interfere with our day-to-day -day lives, they can have an overall negative impact on our mental health and sometimes even physical health. Negative thoughts can take many forms, such as thoughts of self-doubt or self-criticism, thoughts of worry or anxiety, negative predictions or assumptions about the future, and negative comparisons to others. They can be triggered by a variety of factors and reasons like stress, traumas, or just an unhealthy lifestyle. It's important to recognize that negative thoughts are not necessarily accurate or true, but rather they are our interpretation of events and circumstances in life. Resilience, on the other hand, is the ability to bounce back from setbacks and challenges that are thrown at us. It's the mental thoughtness and inner strength that allows us to cope with these negative situations or difficult situations and come out even stronger after they happen. Resilience is not something that you're born with, but it's rather something, a skill that can be developed. Research has shown that there are several factors that contribute to resilience, such as positive mindset, a supportive relationship, and even healthy self-care practices. In nature, we're all different, and of course, while some strategies may not work for you, some others may. One of the first steps in overcoming negative thoughts is to become aware of them. Pay attention to the thoughts that are running through your mind and try to identify any negative pattern. So if you are in a certain situation and you have negative thoughts, just maybe write it down. It can be really helpful to write down your thoughts as they occur, as this can actually help you to become more aware of them and when they happen and see them in a more objective way. Once you become aware of your negative thoughts, try to challenge them. Are they really true? Is there evidence to support them or are they just negative assumptions that I'm making? By questioning the validity of your negative thoughts, you can start to weaken their hold on you. One technique that can be helpful in challenging negative thoughts is called cognitive reframing. This involves looking at the situation from a different perspective and finding more balanced and realistic ways of thinking about it. For example, instead of thinking I'm a complete failure, you might reframe this thought as I made a mistake but that doesn't define who I am as a person. Another effective strategy for overcoming negative thoughts is to practice gratitude. Focusing on the things that you're grateful for can help to shift your focus away from negative thoughts and towards the positive aspects of your life. Try keeping a gratitude journal where you write down three things that you are grateful for each day. It can be anything. There is no silly answer and this simple practice can really, really help you to reframe your perspective and cultivate a more positive outlook in life. This can help you to shift your focus away from the negative thoughts and start working towards the positive aspects of life. Self-talk can have a powerful impact on our thoughts and emotions. So by using positive self-talk, we can counteract negative thoughts and build 
our confidence and self-esteem. So try replacing negative self-talk with more positive and supportive statements. It might take time, but in the end, it's all about the mindset. Positive self-talk can actually involve affirming your strengths and abilities, such as I am capable and worthy, or I am strong and capable of handling difficult challenges. If you're struggling with negative thoughts and emotions that are interfering with your daily life, it may be helpful to seek for professional help. A mental health professional can provide you with the support and necessary tools and guidance you need to overcome negative emotions and thoughts and improve your overall mental well-being. Don't be afraid to reach out for help if you need it. Remember that seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. Now, once we learn to identify our negative thoughts and how to get rid of them, we need to work towards a long-term program, right? That may actually change our attitude long-term and not just medium or short-term. A growth mindset is the belief that we can grow and develop through effort and learning. By cultivating a growth mindset, we can become more resilient and better able to cope with challenges in life. Try reframing setbacks as opportunities for growth and learning rather than as failures. This can help you to approach challenges with a more positive and proactive attitude. So if something doesn't feel or doesn't go as you plan, instead of thinking that that plan is a failure, just look at it as an opportunity to learn from the mistake and continue evolving into what you want to do or who you want to be in life. So if an event doesn't go as planned, just think, oh, well, it can still go well. Having a strong network of supportive friends and family can be a powerful, a really, really powerful source of resilience. These relationships can provide us with emotional support, encouragement, and a sense of belonging. Make an effort to cultivate and nurture positive relationships. And don't be afraid to reach out for support when you need it. In the end, they are your friends, your family, or they're just someone that really loves you for who you are and cares about you, and they will be willing to listen in order for you to feel better and together overcome this challenge. Self-care is an important aspect of building resilience. By taking care of our mental well-being, our mental health and emotional well-being, we can build our resilience and better cope with challenges. Make sure to get enough sleep, eat healthy and engage in activities that bring you joy and relaxation. Also, try to bring into life more of the people and situations that will foster this positive attitude into your life and not the negative. Whether that is a friend, a partner or your family, having someone you can rely on, you can trust about your problems, about the most trivial topic over a cup of warm coffee or cold beer or water is an incredible feeling and shouldn't be taken for granted. Finding meaning and purpose in life can be a powerful tool source of resilience. When we have a sense of purpose, we are more motivated and stronger in the face of challenges. So try to identify the things that are most important to you and find ways to align your actions with your own values and goals. This can really help you to feel more fulfilled and stronger and happy. By implementing these strategies, you can build your own resilience and become better. Become better at coping with negative challenges or yeah, challenges that life throws your way. Just remember that building resilience takes time and effort and it is a journey worth taking. These are just a few strategies for overcoming negative thoughts and building resilience and becoming mentally stronger. By implementing these strategies in your own life, 
you can take control of your thoughts and emotions and become more resilient in the face of challenges and become more happy and live better whatever better is for you negative thoughts and a lack of resilience can be challenging but there are strategies that you can use to overcome them to overcome these obstacles and improve your mental well-being by recognizing and challenging these negative thoughts practicing gratitude using positive self-talk and even seeking professional help when needed you can take control back of your thoughts and emotions and build yourself towards success build up your resilience with practice and dedication you can become stronger and better be able to cope with the challenges that life throws your way i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like and subscribe for more videos like this